Hi, this is Alan from the torchlight.co.uk. This is our new multi-mode high-power Maglite Cree XML2 LED upgrade. In the box is the LED upgrade, instructions, and metal spacer washer. The metal spacer washer is rarely needed, other than for the oldest Maglites. I'm just unscrewing the head of the Maglite off now, so we can fit the LED upgrade. Just switch the Maglite on now to make sure all is okay with it. To fit the LED upgrade, we need to remove the bulb and the bulb retaining collar. An advantage of the LED upgrade is that it has already got its own polished metal reflector, so you don't need your old maglite reflector any longer. If the LED upgrade, when fitted into the maglite head, does not fit flush to the top of it, the chances are the metal spacer washer is still on the back of it, so it's worth checking for this. There are other ways of fitting this, but we found the complete removal of the head from the body of the maglite, and then replacing the reflector with the LED upgrade to be the quickest. The whole process should not take more than a couple of minutes. It takes a lot of turns to get the maglite head back onto the tube of the torch, but the results will be worthwhile. Please make sure you re twist the head all the way back so it won't, will not turn any more, otherwise it will not light. I twisted the head as quickly as I can all the way back now, so it's ready to switch on. For the test setup, we have adapted two maglites, so they're powered by a variable DC power supply. We have the negative supply connected to the body of the maglite and a positive to the inner battery contact. The variable power supply is dual output and is set up so the voltage on each output is the same and is controlled by a single rotary controller. On the left is the output of the maglite with the original bulb and on the right with the LED upgrade. This is the adapted maglite with the original bulb fitted and powered up. You can just about see the power supply in the bottom left of the screen. This is the maglite with the LED upgrade fitted. As you can see, the maglite with the LED upgrade is much brighter, but also has much more spill to the beam. When we zoom into the power supply, we can see the right channel for the LED upgrade. It shows 7.5 volts and 1.12 amps. On the left channel, with the same voltage for the original 5 cell bulb, 0.69 amps shows. The current is shown in red, the voltage in green. To calculate the power used, it is just a case of multiplying the voltage by the current. So the LED upgrade is using 8.4 watts compared to the original bulb, which is using just over 5 watts. We recorded the video on a misty murky night in the hills of Mid Wales. The mist highlights the beam profiles from both torches. Living in this area, we appreciate having a bright torch. You may notice the light reduces when the upgraded maglite is first switched on. This is the auto adjust of the camcorder, reducing its sensitivity due to the beam brightness. When we switch the maglite down to the medium power level, the upgrade is still producing more light, particularly when taking into account the amount of wide spill light compared to the original bulb. When zooming in on the power supply, we can see that the upgrade is using 0.4 amps at 7.5 volts. This equates to exactly 3 watts. It shows at this level that LED upgrade is using less power than the original bulb. This is worth noting if you want to extend your battery life. Finally, we now show the LED upgrade on its lowest setting, where it uses approximately 0.8 watts at 7.5 volts. To show the regulation working, we are reducing the voltage. As the voltage decreases, the current showed in red increases, maintaining constant power until about 4 volts before the light starts reducing. 
At about 3.4 volts, the LED upgrade strobes. This acts as a low battery indicator. Please don't take these figures too literally, as the battery operating voltage drops under load, load being the power used, in this case the LED bulb. Typically, this can be 0.2 volts per cell, so for a three cell maglite using standard 1.5 volt alkaline cells, the voltage drop would be likely to be near 0.6 volts. The easiest way to choose the required mode is to lightly press down the maglite switch to stop the power and then press the switch firmly down to select the required mode. The mode is then memorized for the next time you use your torch. We hope you have enjoyed this video and remember to check out the torchlight.co.uk if you require an LED upgrade.